Hi, this is Rochelle. Today I'm going to be making a, a DIY Christmas playlist to help you to get more views on your YouTube channel, uh, more likes, and hopefully some more subscriptions as well. Okay, so if you stay with me um, through this whole tutorial, you will then have your playlist on YouTube optimized a video whether you use uh, Creative Commons or you make your own video optimized also a post on uh, WordPress and other social uh, uh, platforms as well okay so let's get started the first thing that um, we need to do is and I've already done this, but I'm going to go back into uh, the avatar to the right. Into Creator Studio. And you see the video manage there, manager on the left. I'm going to click on this button right here, this little radio button, and this should open up this, and you're going to see playlists. See, it's very small, right under videos. You can miss it if you don't know where it is. So, I am going to click on this. I accidentally clicked on something else. And this is going to take me into my playlist. Okay. Okay, now I have already started making um, a few. Uh, DIY Christmas playlist. So we're just going to go into the new playlist. You're going to click in here and you're going to find your title. And here's my title um, right here. I've already created it. It's already here. So I'm not going to create, I'm not going to click create, but well, actually, you know what? I am going to click create just in case, okay? So I'm going to click create. So we're going to go through the, the whole process here. Okay, and now you're going to see this come up this doesn't mean that you made a mistake it just means that you have not added any videos yet now in order to add videos you wait until everything comes up and then you'll see your avatar here on the right and or sorry on the left on the right you'll see your edit click into your edit And then you're going to see this that comes up. It'll have your title right here. Your share, playlist settings, add video. This is where you can add a description, which we will get into later. But right now, what we're going to do is let's have a look at our playlist settings. Okay, so when we click into the playlist settings, It says here, basic, playlist privacy is public, the ordering is manual, which means that you change it, add new videos to the top of the playlist. I'm going to click that one because it makes it easier for me. Allow embedding.
You can also set it as the official series for your playlist. So I'm actually going to do that for now. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to save that. Now there are two more other places that you can go into. But for now I'm going into my add videos which is on the right hand side. Wait for this to completely stop. Okay, so while I'm waiting for this, it should be okay. You'll see that the little hand comes up. That means that your computer is ready for you to add the videos. Now there's three ways you can do it. You can do it through a video search. You can do it through a URL. If you have the URL, which is this up here, is your URL. Or you could do it through your own uh, YouTube videos. And uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, we are doing it through the video search. So I am just going to type in um, DIY Christmas, just to begin with. It's very small to see the lettering. Possibly, I could have I could have uh, did that wrong. Okay, so just look and see one that you're interested in because this is the beginning, the start of your playlist. Um, I I'm basically interested in one for um, Ten DIY Christmas gifts people actually want. So I'm going to click that just to begin with. Now you can click more, but um, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm doing this one. Okay. A video updated to a different channel. Can okay which means that I may have chosen that one from before. So, let me try this one. And add this video. some reason I am not able to do that. I am going to do this one. Yep. Done something wrong here. Go back and check. I don't think that I anything has changed here. So I'm just going to click this out and it's a good thing when I do make mistakes because then uh, you can see for yourself, you know, that uh, it's easy to do. Just going to click add video. Change something here in the 
in the in here and I don't know what I've done. Okay. When you're in basic, make sure you don't click this one right here. Okay? Which is set as official series for this place playlist. Okay, so I'm just gonna save that. Go back into my ad videos. Sorry, this is taking a little bit of time. This gives you time to have a look at everything that's up here. The share button, the playlist, the, the well, with my program I get the top keywords. And which I could just um, click into this. And this is going to show me the keywords. Now, I'm not sure if you get this with the um, the free version, but I know that you do get the other keywords. So, I'm just waiting for this to come up. And I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay, so we're going to go to uh, Add Videos. And there we go to the video search again, uh, DIY Christmas, and search, and then that's going to give me, um, I'm just going to choose this one to be quick. And then see it working up here. You'll see a blank screen and then your video should come up. Okay, so this is what I chose right here. This is now the beginning of this playlist. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to go over to um, YouTube type in my title here, my DIY Christmas, click the search and see what's my, what is my competition. And, and uh, this is my competition right here, so this is what I'm going to be looking at. Okay. Uh, the next thing I want you to do is to go over to a place called uh, vidiq.com and sign up here, okay, you'll get a uh, confirmation email, uh, you'll have to go into your email and click that in order to uh, register, it doesn't cost anything, it's free, if you decide to keep it, you can keep the free, free version or you can go to a higher version which is about $10 a month, which is the one that I use, so this is what you'll see when you sign up so go ahead and do that pause the video um, when you come back you'll see over to the right hand side you see a, a little it sort of looks like a, um, a, a little paper clip and you just click on that okay and that's going to copy all these keywords here actually there's 45. There's quite a few. You see? There's, they're huge. Okay, and it goes from the top ones to the next ones down. Open up your notepad. And I've already done this, but I'm doing it again. Open up your no notepad and right click if you're right handed or left click if you're left handed and 
these are your keywords all in here those are all your keywords okay and they can be copied into uh, your, your video as well now for as far as making your own video if you don't have video capture software go to um, this title right up here which is www.nchsoftware.com and into you'll see this right here on the left hand side go into here and download this information okay now they're not going to charge you anything if you are using a card or uh, PayPal. Watch for the dates and um, try the free version first. This is the version that I use that I'm using right now and I can just show you inside of it with actually um, sorry with, with actually not going into it because it'll shut off my recording. So as you can see got your webcam okay um, it it's pretty self-explanatory you just go into your options and you make sure that you have it set up so that um, it's picking up your microphone and your speakers and those are the two most important things if you want the camera overlay it's down here right there at the bottom right hand corner and you can also make your size of you bigger or smaller. I have me smaller here and bigger um, for the desktop. So after you do that and you have it all set up, um, pause the video and then set everything up if you have downloaded this um, a video uh, a software and you you have it set up pause the video and then we're going to be um, going in second base. anyway is to go to the filter that's right underneath the uh, search bar on the left hand side it says filter click on this filter and go into something called Creative Commons. Click on Creative Commons. Okay, so now this is going to give you the Creative Commons and what this means is that these videos that are up here are videos that you can use. Are videos that you can download and you can use as your own okay so say I go into here and you want to make sure that they are Creative Commons and they're not up there by mistake because you could get a strike against your channel if you don't and you use somebody else's video So I'm just going to look down here and make sure that it says Creative Commons. And, uh, creative Commons. Okay. Reuse allowed. Okay. So now I can now take this video if I want this video you can choose a video that you want it's up to you but I'm just going to show you you can take this the title copy that go to a new um, a new search bar and type in YouTube okay 
converter. Okay, and it should come up. You should see this one line video converter here on the top uh, left hand side and you want to paste your link in here okay so I'm pasting my link in here my format is an mp4 and start the video is being processed okay so now I want to download it Click this and download it. I'm just going to allow. Download this to your computer. For me, it comes up right here on my bottom left. What I usually do is I would like, whoops, so downloading, sorry. Oh, now there's an error because I click into it. And load it. Okay, so now this has come up and I don't want this. So leave this and go back to here and I have to download those again. Can I click to do it before it was ready? It will tell me when it's ready. No, now it's ready. And I usually right click it and I want to I want to see where it is it's in my folder okay um take it right, right click on it and send it to your desktop so then you'll know where it is Okay, now getting back um, into uh, where we need to go is back to your, oops, clicked on that, and sure enough, now it's going to refresh my page, sorry. All right, you don't actually have to be in your Creator Studio to upload a video, okay? And um, I usually, this starts right away, so I need to go here, and you'll see on the top right, this little um, a box with an X is create a video or post, okay? I'm just going to click in there. Upload your video. Now, I usually upload mine in, in private because I don't want anything going public until I'm ready for it. Yeah, I'm going to in my desktop. So, I'm going to look in my desktop. And find where it is that I uploaded this movie to. And I actually didn't see a name. I'm just going to go to uh, my quick asset. Okay, what I've done is I have, um, it's called DIY Christmas, right, and I went and sent it to my desktop, so that's where it's going to be, and 
There it is right there. Okay, and I'm going to open that. And now I have this video that I can use. Coming up, it's now being processed, and while it's being processed, this is where we're going to get into where did we get the keywords from. Remember, from Notepad here. Okay, so if I pick the right one, and I'm looking at the keywords here, and it's about Christmas, so I'm just going to take some of the keywords here. Um, and use these, just copy this. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go into here where you put your tags. Okay. Okay. So, it would be a good, good idea, okay, if you actually uh, look at at the video and make sure that it is it, this is what it's about. So it's not done processing yet. I'm just gonna go back here and we'll just listen to it and see what it's about. You can actually look in his subscriptions or his, uh, his information and you could see basically what this video is about. Easy, fun, DIY projects. Okay, so, you know, basically what I'm going to do in order to optimize, optimize this movie, I'm going to just make a, a, a description, and I'm going to make a description from these key words, okay? Like, for instance, let's use the Dollar Tree DIY. This is great for a dollar store. DIY. And as you can see here, um, I'm using my keywords for DIY decor decoration. Okay, so you can also say like, what is DIY? It is do it yourself. There's an Another keyword right there. Um, I've already used Dollar Store. Uh, you can find Christmas decor at your local. Dollar store. Okay. Um, uh, uh, take your um, Christmas and as you can see, I need to uh, change some of the um, grammar here. Decorations and give them a way for a gift ideas. Um, many different projects.
and be DIY decor such as as I just heard pillows is one and I've also noticed here as you can see like I'm over the 500 so number one I'm gonna take that one out and this is a long take I'm also gonna take this one out I have to get down to under 500 here so I'm just gonna take these out just to show you okay um I'm also gonna put in another one on words that I just put in there which was which is pillows Okay, so now I'm using all my keywords here. Um, I'm still a little bit over. Um, okay, so, so there, I got a really good score of 50. Okay, now what I want to do is I just want to go in here and just correct this a little bit because it uh, this one I can't, I can't really do anything with. Okay. Alright. So basically, I want to have my title to be Actually, did I just mention? Just messed up my score. Okay. We went back. And I'm having a look at the This is what this video is about. So I am going to use this title because this is what the video is about. And I got back my, my sword, but I don't have a giveaway. Okay, so anyways, I am going to go into my advanced. Make sure that mine is under the Creative Commons. I usually say that the content um, has never been aired. The recording day is today. And I'm done. Okay, this is, this is just the beginning. Okay, because there's more that needs to be done. You took the video manager. Okay, and what you want to do is um, through the uh, vid IQ, you want to create your thumbnail. You know, I just thought of something. I don't really have a Christmas job. So I'm going to go to um, Google. And I still have a name. Show them off for now. And I still have them playing. So I'm just going to show them off for now. Okay. Now I've gone to Google. I want to go to my images. And I want to type in just something Christmas. So basically, I gotta watch. You gotta watch what you what you you, you do um, use because 
Those could be copyrighted. I like this one, so I'm just going to save this as um, my DIY Christmas, DIY Christmas, and, uh, I kind of realize that what's going to happen so I'm probably going to lose a little bit more of my score because of the title. But I do need to get going back into the edit right now and then going into um, create the thumbnail. I got out of there, I closed it. Um, other image. This is the thumbnail editor through the, the uh, vid IQ. I believe there's also a thumbnail editor through YouTube. This is the one that I use. And uh, I find this. Looks okay, so there's my picture. And I'm it down and this is my picture here and I'm just going to click the next button okay now usually what I do is I look at the basic information here and what can I use I want to take this giveaway out because it's like I'm sorry I just don't like using the stuff in there that's not true and so your video is, is can be ready but I don't want it ready okay so now I've now saved it and I want to go into my video manager again Because I already have one open and I need to get this information that I want. And to my edit. I want to just look at this title right here. And this is the title that I want to go on my thumbnail. See where it says text right there? What I usually do is I enter in the text, all the text, and then I decide on what text I want and what text I don't want. You can choose your font here, whatever font you want. I usually use this one here. I like that one. You choose your size. Usually about 30 is good. And here the color, otherwise it's going to come out white and you won't see it. So I usually go black and um, bold it. I like putting a border on it. Maybe I'll try a green border and see what it looks like. And it's usually around five there. And you have to click this box here where it says add text. Okay, so now as you can see, here's your information. You can Down, you can um, change it. Uh, 
sound for some reason it's not doing that. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's made me two of them, so we wanna just take this out. Let's take this one out. Okay. So and using this one here, this these two right there, I can just uh go make this go down a little bit further and over a little bit. Just uh there. Um I don't want to take a long time with this thumbnail, so just go into an image uh, and um, I don't know, have a bell. Let's put a bell on. Okay, just stick the bell down there, I guess. Okay, now this bell has a border, so we want to take that border off. Just have your bell there. How actually have two bells. Border again, and okay. now as you can see, it's not going to be perfect, but also you can either use the image here, you could use a shape, or if you even if you click image here, you can also download something. So, I wanted to actually. Um, so I don't really have another picture. Um, I'm going to uh, find. How about this one? I'm just gonna open it up and bring it down. Okay, it has a border on it, so I'm going to take that border away. And I don't want it to look silly. Also, I could put this behind or in front of. So it all depends on. Let's see. It's going to this down a little bit and click on this and bring this, I believe, up. This one. Oh, I'm on the text. That's not what I wanted to do. So that's what happens when you fool around. You get off track. Okay, so that is not what I want to do. I wanted to work with my image here, not text. Um, Still in my text, you can see. It's still in the text, not out of the text yet. This is the image, I'm just not in the image. Here's the image there. Okay, well, I'm not going to fool around with that right now because. Uh, this is going to take too long. Because you can change things around, but you do have to be careful to, as to what you're doing. Then you end up messing up your whole thumbnail, which I almost did right there. And uh, I am going to uh, make that bigger. Okay, I'm just going to. Now that's up there a little bit, and I got the, that there and that there. I'm just going to leave that like that. Oops. I'll bring that over. Uh, see, I don't really like to the room, holiday, holiday decorations, room decorations. Okay, I'm just going to leave that for now. Okay, so there's my thumbnail, and I'm going to save the thumbnail. Okay, so now this is for using um, 
Creative Commons videos. Okay, if you don't have a video of your own or you don't want to make one. Okay, and I'm just going to close that and give that a couple of minutes to um, propagate. I'm just going to save the changes. Now, for the purpose of this video here, because I am in the process of making this tutorial, I am just going to go through the motions of showing you the cards. But on this card, I will have one of my own videos. The video that I intend to have up here is actually uh, this video that I'm making. However, I can add other ones as well. Say I wanted to create another um, playlist here and say I wanted to um, put up Amazon Auto because I just became an Amazon Audible um, affiliate. So I'm going to put that one up there. That is a um, selling point here. And I'm actually going to customize this message here. Um, it'll say try Audible. And then I'm going to say like one full. Try. Okay. So uh, try Audible uh, free, one whole month trial. Oh, sorry. Um, the thing with Audible is that you do get um, one paid, no, uh, one audio book free and two downloads. And I'm over by three. So, I'm going to see, I'm just going to use the plus sign, I don't really like using it, but I'm going to use it in this case. And there we go, and now it's working. Now this that's right up here now is now going to come out, and I've now put an advertisement on this video here of this person who's, uh, who has said, yes, you can use the Creative Commons, okay? All right, so that's my first card. Now I could also create another card. Um, I could create a card for my new uh, Facebook group. It's called uh, Facebook uh, Barter and Swap, and it's for people who want to uh, trade their services and. Um, uh, do swaps, other services and products, and um, I'm going to to say like it's just like join. for videos to promote for a tutorial that I'm doing for uh, making a playlist for the actual um, group. People that are in the group, I'd like to be able to use uh, their videos and uh, give them some organic traffic. Okay, so there's the card and 
Another thing that I could do is I could use audio. So if you don't want to listen to uh, somebody 